What's up, everybody? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are kind of we're at 30 seconds in. So today I kind of want to talk to you guys about the the Abitur of Zir and the Malignant Rings. This is a really good video from Diablo, um, and they just kind of talk about this. It's an interview, <clears throat> kind of get to get you prepped for going into the seasonal event for the Abitur of Zir and just the end game stuff. So if you guys don't know that you have the Abitur of Zir, he is going to be the one that is. Is this bad, big, bad dude right here, wherever he's at, right here, this big, bad guy, and he is going to be the end game boss, and we're going to be able to fight him nonstop as we continue to grow in uh, power. So he's going to be an end game boss, and you're going to get access to the tears of the blood. Okay, this is going to be a unique lift specifically to the event, if you guys don't know, and this is what is going to allow us to kind of continually raise our power they said at blizzcon that the max bonus to this is 200 percent multiplicative increased damage when you max this out and it's really really interesting because when I'm, i want to see if they have the chart in here which is kind of cool they don't have the chart in here but essentially the chart is where is it this right here where you're gonna have to go through this seasonal journey and you're gonna have to go through and craft blood forge sigils and increase the level to non-stop fight zir however the very first level of zir is the equivalent to a nightmare level 100 dungeon which is why we're getting the tears of the blood uh glyph to kind of help our power so that way we continuously can fight zir now it's really awesome for end game content like this because they're doing this during this season two so that way we can have a really strong opportunity to give some good feedback because this is something that you kind of want to put permanently into the game you know they may change it keep it how it is etc but i'm very excited about this now there's a few things that i want to kind of showcase here so how this is going to work is you're going to complete the seasonal journey you're going to get a recipe to create the level one tier you're going to craft it and use it complete the dungeon and then rinse and repeat as you continue to go up right and each time you fight zir He's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Now, keep in mind that this is going to replicate, and this is similar to doing the Beast in the Ice, right? Where you craft a sigil to go fight the Beast in the Ice, and it's an actual Nightmare Dungeon. This is similar to that. You're going to go through and do an actual Nightmare Dungeon, so you're still going to be able to get gear, and you're still going to be able to get your Glyph XP, okay? So, that's going to be really, really cool, and it's going to be an increased amount of XP, so but here is some tidbits that i don't think people know about and i think it's really cool let me take quest items off that they kind of just slid in and people don't get or maybe they don't know about it or they didn't catch it with this right so let me go back to 30 seconds so i want to highlight i want to highlight this okay <clears throat> so because when you're going through the dungeons right it's already you have to or the nightmare dungeon to fight zir you need a very strong build, but I want you guys to draw your eyes to this spot over here. Can you guys see this right-hand side of the screen? This says slay monsters, and then before the time runs out to summon a boss for Abitur of Zir. So think about that for just a second. Wait a second, wait a second. So this isn't just a normal nightmare dungeon where we're gonna be able to take our time fight mob after mob and not die you know because <clears throat> you know i don't know if you're going to be limited there's no revives here so i don't know if you get a certain amount of revives when you're doing the abitur but maybe they took revives away because they put a timer on it right and if you guys play diablo 3 this is exactly what a greater rift is the greater rifts in diablo 3 just had slay all the monsters slay as many as you can so that way you could get through the dungeon before the timer ends. So I don't know about you guys. I could just be speculating here. I want you guys to let me know what you think down in the comments. But this seems awfully like doing 
greater riffs from Diablo 3. Now, like, if you go in and listen, I don't think they even mention it. event built into Diablo 4. They're meant to be really challenging for the player. The way it works is it's a complete race against the clock. Yep, you race jump against in, the clock. As many demons as you can. Fill yep. up that progress bar. Once complete, a boss yep. will spawn. Kill the boss. Do this all before the timer runs out. You will not be able to enter until you complete yeah, all it's seven crazy. tiers of your season journey event. But once this task is finished, go ahead and head over to the occultist. A uh -huh. new recipe will be available for a craft all your blood sigil. sigils. So you're gonna want to go ahead and craft one. Use it. And then you go through and just bigger than normal sigils. So I'm curious just how high it's kind of nuts that they're bringing you back greater rifts to craft a blood forge sigil one tier higher than what you just completed at the occultist. It's kind of nuts. I'm accompanied by Alex Yang. Yeah, it's 100 percent greater rifts. 100 percent greater rifts because now it's a race against the clock. So you craft your sigil. If you don't finish the slaying all the monsters until before the clock runs out, the dungeon's over. You got to go craft another one and you're done. So this is, I'm really, really curious to see how this is all going to play out because I loved Greater Rifts in Diablo 3. You know what I mean? And I think that this is a way to really... <clears throat> bring something else into the end game besides just a normal nightmare dungeon right um however when it comes to your build now not only do you have to build have a build that can survive you have to have the damage output and now you have to have speed you got to be able to get through the monsters fast enough right you have to be able to get through the monsters fast enough and you can see here that he's playing a bar build and he is so far behind like this is so much time i mean it's not that much time but like he's behind the ball End here. Game, pinnacle, so it's awesome it's kind of crazy. Time, unique rings that harness the power. Yeah, they talk about the malignant rings, but yeah, so it it's kind of interesting that we're getting greater rifts again. So no, it's not a challenge rift. This is the Abitur of Zero. It says it right here. Abitur of Zero. So it's it's kind of cool. The challenge rifts for the leaderboards is something completely separate than this. So it, it's pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen this interview, I definitely suggest go to watch it. Um, they talk about how the process is going to work for creating your sigils and those things, which is really cool um, to craft all of your sigil tiers. And you just keep going, keep going, keep going um, and getting higher and higher and higher. And then you just level up your, your glyphs. Uh, it's super cool. It's going to be a cool little, you're pretty much only going to be like really leveling up uh, your tears of the blood here. This is only going to be the only one that you're ever going to level up, but it's kind of cool. And then they bring in, they talk about the mal malignant rings, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, this is a really interesting interview and, and essentially Abitur of Zir is going to be the blanket for greater rifts essentially. So, I don't know, guys. Like the video. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. But, yeah, it's basically Greater Rifts. If you haven't seen this, then I'll link this down in the description. And, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. So, yeah, guys, catch y'all later. See you in the next one. And, as always, stay gaming. Peace.